Gospel of March the 7th, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your state that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country, where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that, comp that country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens, who sent him to his farm to tend the swine. And he longed to eat his fill of the pots on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's higher workers have more than enough food to eat? But here I am dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven again against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Where his father ordered his servants, quickly bring the finest rope and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because this son of mine was dead and has come back to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field, and on his way back, as he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf, because he has, it back, he has him back safe and sound. He became angry, and when, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I serve you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your, son, when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughtered the fattened calf. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice because his brother was dead and has come back to life again. He was lost and has been found. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have this stark contrast between two brothers as it has started in the scene of the gospel tax collectors and sinners represent the younger brother and Pharisees and scribes represent the older brother the Pharisees are upset with Jesus because he receives the sinners he said they said this man welcomes sinners and eats with them for them, that was the reason for Jesus to be contaminated with sin. They could not withstand that the Lord would welcome sinners. They, call, they called themselves Pharisees, meaning that they were apart from the sinners. That they tried hard not to mingle with sinners, lest they became contaminated with sin. And the Lord wants to make them understand the love of God. The man who has two sons is the father, is God himself. One of the sons, the younger, is foolish and he asks the share of his life. It is very interesting that in the Greek it says bios, which is not the same as saw, that is life. But bios is The fabric of life is the person, it is 
it is our own life, it is comparable to our own life where we take it from God and we run away or we run away and then waste it. And that is exactly what happened with this John guy. He wasted his life, he squandered it. And then the severe famine struck. And where he's, he, found himself, he finds himself tending swine, the worst possible work for a Jew. And he even wanted to fill his belly with the pots of the swine, but they wouldn't even give him that. He represents all of us who get away from God. Now, he comes to his senses. How many of my father's hard workers have enough food, more than enough, and I am here dying from hunger. I will get up, go to my father, and recognize before him I have seen against heaven and against you. I do not deserve to be called your son anymore. Just receive me as a worker. And he sets about what he could never imagine is that his father was expecting him, that his father is a loving father. Why did he see the Johnson at the distance? Why else beca but because the father was all day long expecting him back, wanting him to come back? Yes, he wants our father in heaven, wants you and I, and all our son, and all our brothers, all his sons, all his children back with him. He ran to his son. Many of us would have stayed on the farm, on the place. Oh, let me see that you come here. Home. I'm going to give you a hard time. But the father is not proud. He ran to the son. He covered him with kisses. And the son starts with his speech. The son never felt pity for his father. He only ached in his stomach. And that his very human needs were the ones that drew him near to his father, back to life. When the son recognizes that he has sinned against his father in heaven, immediately the father doesn't allow him to go on. Quickly bring the finest rope put a ring on his finger, sandals on his feet, that is restitute him as my son in full standing. Let us celebrate a feast. Now, the older brother, which represents the Pharisees, and which represents many of us, that get upset because God is merciful, that we don't want to accept that God would forgive even those sinners that have a long life of sinning, but that suddenly are touching their hearts and come back sincerely to God, and then we are upset. There is some harsh words of God. He says, the older doesn't want to come into the house. He's angry. All the years I have served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Who? in all truth can say that before God. Only his son Jesus Christ was able to say those words. Everything was accomplished. Of us we are just unjustful servants. All of us. Where do we want to stay? Do we want to be received by our loving Father because we strayed? Or do we want to stay outside our house divided from our own brother, even divided from our father, angry against him because he is good. Let us humbly ask our Father in heaven that he might send his Holy Spirit to shine inside of us into our conscience, that we might humble ourselves and be happy in the same and share in the love of the Father, who as a Father loves all of his children. And that is the kind of love, not human love, God's love that we should share and be able to love each other with that, as we should love the Father. Not because we must, but because we can walk 
into the path of love. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.